gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out tonight. My name is Kaniz Sarka. That's right, my name is Kaniz. Do you know what Kaniz means? No, in Urdu it means slave. Yeah. That's the first time an audience has ever reacted that way. <laughs> my name actually means slave, which is appropriate because I was married to an Indian man for three years. Why are you cheering? <laughs> That's a very, very sad time in my life. <laughs> Here's the thing, guys, I was married, that's right. And here's the thing, growing up, I was taught that my one goal in life was to get married, was to find a man, fall in love, he would look after me financially, he would look after me emotionally. That's why I was put on earth, to find a man and get married. That was my sole purpose in life. I moved to India in 2005 from South Africa, which is why I had this accent. <laughs> I didn't go to the UK at the airport for two hours. <laughs> this, is, this is a real accent, huh? He's looking and being like, who is this Miss Potty Pants? <laughs> she thinks she's all that. No, it's a real accent, guys. It's not, it's not, it's not fake. But here's the thing, I, when I moved to India, I immediately got a TV show, a comedy TV show on national television. But that didn't seem half as exciting as getting married one day. So I spent most of my time and energy looking for my dream man. And I searched and I searched and eventually I was like, screw the dream part. And I just found myself any old man and I got married to him. Yes. I became a valid woman of society. And then I decided, okay, so now that I'm married, I'll become a housewife. And I was doing comedy on the side. I was doing the TV show and I was doing some workshops. But I was like, I'm going to be a housewife. This is what I'm going to do. And this is going to make me happy. This is what's going to make me happy. Spoiler alert, it didn't make me happy. I was miserable. <laughs> I was extremely deeply unhappy. And somewhere deep down, I wanted more for myself. He was a very sweet man, but I knew I had more to offer. My body. No. <laughs> That's not true. It's a little bit true. No, okay, it's not true. It's a little. Anyway, moving on. I had more to offer, and I wouldn't be able to do it in my marriage. So I got divorced, a boom, yeah. And along with that came the kind of freedom I could only dream of. What is this freedom you speak of, Kaniz? Don't worry, I will tell you. The thing is, when you get divorced, people give up on you. That's what happens. No one has any expectations from you. They're just like shame. She failed at the one thing she was supposed to do in her life. So now she can do what the fuck she wants. <laughs> Freedom. Now aunties at weddings look at me and they're like, and I'm standing there in my cleavage top and I'm chatting to boys. And they're like, let her do what she wants to do. She's a divorcee, bichari. There's no hope for her. She does what she wants and she does who she wants. And it's okay. Guys, I highly recommend divorce. Anyone married in the audience? No one's married. Good job, guys. Don't do it. Do not get married. Are you pointing to someone behind you? Are you married? Are you denying it now? Are you embarrassed? If I were you, I would be embarrassed. He's married four times? Four wives? Oh, Kai, dude. That's why you're here. You need some relief in your life. <laughs> what is your name, sir? What is your name? Chums. 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 Chums? Chums. <laughs> your name is Chums? Shum. Chums. Sounds very close to Chums. <laughs> like I, like you're the kind of guy I only hang out with once a month. Chums. The guy I hang out with once a month <laughs> for five days. Five days I hang out with him. <laughs> You know, I remember once my husband saying his dream was to become great. And I was like, you know what? I was sitting next to him and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be the wife who takes you to greatness. I'm going to be the one who supports you. And then the day I walked out, I was like, wait a minute. Why am I going to support someone else becoming great? Why can't I support myself becoming great? Yeah. And that's what I did. I left the marriage, I walked out, and I decided to build my own life. Exactly two months after my divorce, a big TV channel held auditions for an improv show. They were going to make this improv show, and there was a grueling audition process. And I made it to the final cast, along with five other men. It was like a sign from the universe that it was time for Kaniz to become a great comedian. 
Deep down, she always wanted to do this, and now was her time. And while I'm not there yet, I know I'm on the right path. Is it tough being a woman in a male-dominated comedy industry? Yes. But I know now that I'll always fight and I'll always ask for what I deserve. Because getting divorced gave me that confidence. Breaking expectations from society had made me feel like I can take control of my life. So I'm still Kanis. It still means slave. But now I'm a slave for myself. Wait, is that... I feel like that might not be a good thing either. Either way, that's my set. Thank you so much, guys. Give it a big round. Hi, I'm Kaniz, and my set tonight was inspired by Prime Original. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. You can now stream the new season only on Amazon Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video. So, 